way to shine. I'm coming to y'all because we're making a big old fat dinner mess. And first I wanted to say this to you. I wanted to, I'm enjoying looking at these comments and I'm going to talk to you about them. Um, Jen, Jen Scrapbook Nook. Hey Jen, she is talking about, um, you have given me so, and so many others more gifts than we can count at this point. Oh, that's sweet. Honestly, I've made huge strides in my journey because of your videos. For example, I went out of town over the weekend. Are y'all listening? And was so worried what I was going to do without my blender of banana ice cream and veggie dressing. But I kept hearing your voice saying, where there's a will, there's a way. So I found a grocery store close to where I was staying and loaded up on fruits and veggies, and it worked out great. I even ran three miles, including past my son's soccer team. <laughs> I never would have done that before because I would have been too embarrassed if they noticed me. Of course, they did call me out, but instead of cringing and trying to disappear from for fear of embarrassment and my son, I just smiled and waved back because guess what? Jack's mom was running and there's nothing wrong with that. Thanks for the boost of confidence. Girl, go girl. That was exciting to me. So I wanted to share that, but I'm going to start sharing some of y'all's comments because y'all deserve that, you know? So I'm going to show you what we're going to have for dinner. Guess what we're going to use? What we have. Okay, I didn't have to run out and think, oh, let me make this complicated and let me, oh, what can I have? No, I'm going to have what I have. So I've got my big bowl. And this is a little vintage tea rose china bowl that came from the Goodwill, but actually they sell this all day long at the antique shop. So just in case I need to sell something in the near future to buy fruits and vegetables, I can sell this bowl. So what we have is I have made all these little carroty zoodles, okay? And I've chopped them up small. And in my blender for dressing, let's see what we're going to have. I have a giant mess right here. Sorry, y'all. One day I'm going to be very professional. Y'all aren't going to believe it because I'm going to let you actually see what I'm making and not just my face bobbing around like this. So in the blender we have about um, a fourth of an onion, maybe a fifth if it's strong. We have two stalks of celery. We have a half of an avocado, but really it was less because the other half is like more than a half left. Um, we have an orange pepper, red pepper. I have about a tablespoon of garlic. And I have a tablespoon of... That. Um, it's the extra spicy Mrs. Dash is what it is. And I'm going to put, I don't have any fresh lemons. They were not cheap at Aldi and I wasn't going to pay that. I'm going to put about two tablespoons in there of lemon juice. Let's see what that tastes like, shall we? Let's not get it on the computer, which sounds like something I would do, don't it? <laughs> spicy Mrs. Dash if you don't like it quite as spicy. Look at that sauce. Mmm, tasty. Okay. So here's what I'm going to put in my bowl. I have about four big carrots. Okay, I'm going to put some carrots first. Let me let me see if I can tilt y'all something and you can see what I'm doing. Oh, look at that. Hi. Okay, so I've got that. And then I'm going to put in some tomatoes just layered over there. I've got some little um, diced up cauliflower, which is my very favorite. I've got some little dust of red and uh, uh, yellow pepper, and I'm going to put a little layer of this so when I mix it, it will blend good. You won't believe this mess I've got in here. Okay. A little more carrots, because my friend's coming over and he'll be hungry. Tomatoes, peppers, this whole other, other layer, like you're making some lasagna type stuff, you know. Oh, I have a little bit of onion cut up too, because I was afraid to use it all. That thing smelled really strong. Okay. So, then we're going to put the rest of this. Okay. Now, let's see. Let's just use our hands. They're clean, don't worry. Okay. 
Because sometimes, like, if you squeeze the sauce onto the veggies, onto the carrots, this will give you a serious, serious kick of energy. Carrots like that. Oh, that looks good. Okay, let's see. Let me get this off my hands. I'm going to tell you what else we're going to do. Now, I have this little lettuce I had earlier. See that? All we have to do is cut off the end. Bam, like that. Now, this is organic. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave like the little bit of dirt down in there. That sounds ridiculous, I know. But that's going to help um, put some beneficial bacteria in and help my body to have some B12 in there. So then I'm just going to use these like little scoopies on the side, see. I'm going to eat the dirt and all. That doesn't mean eat dirt out of the sandbox or anything if you're a small child watching me. Hey, if your kids are watching me and they're big enough to hear, tell me their names. I'll say, hey, to them. They'll like that. Okay. So, let's wipe our hands. I'll show you what this looks like. See how easy? Okay, look. Isn't that nice? Look at it. This is huge, too. Now, see, I mean, I could easily eat that whole bowl myself. This is enormous. Do you see how fast that was? I had twirled the zoodles and the carrots. But by the way, this bigger spiralizer, not as good for carrots or skinny items as this one right here. But basically, for 24 and if you use your coupon at Bed and Bath, that would be um, like 21 and then this would be like 12. You could get both those items. It's not that expensive. But um, they also have these at Walmart. I saw them today and somebody else... Um, Show me that on Instagram. It was either Jeannie or, or Heather. But anyway, so there we go. I just want to show y'all that. See how fast and easy? That's all you need. So let's see. Today I've had a giant banana smoothie this morning with kale. Then I had some additional bananas dipped in coconut sugar. Then I had nine mangoes. And I had that over this red leaf lettuce, which was divine. And now I'm going to have this with my little bit of fats. And... I'm full. I don't know how many calories that is. I'm not really worried about it. I get my calories and, you know, I eat when I'm hungry. That's how, at this point, that's how I fly, you know, by the seat of my pants, so to speak.